This is a skeleton of probably the most famous bird in the world. It's actually a dodo, the, the famous bird from Mauritius. And more has been written about it than any other bird, yet we practically know nothing about it in life. It's quite amazing. One of the most remarkable features about this bird, of course, is its enormous head with its very large hook bill tip. What was its purpose? Well, we know from DNA evidence that these birds were pigeons and that pigeons have enormous gapes, enormous ability to open their mouths, and so they were probably swallowing large fruits in its island home. We also know from early mariners' accounts that this bill tip was used as a weapon and sailors were very worried about getting too close in case they got bitten by this bird. So it wasn't quite the defenseless bird that we were led to believe. Now, as this bird was flightless, it got larger and heavier and it needed strong legs to support the bulk. And if you look at the legs here, they're incredibly robust. And this was because it was such a large, heavy bird. And we actually have mariners' accounts describing how tough those legs were. The breast muscles, which are the powerhouse of the bird, the muscles that produce flight are attached here to a bone called the sternum, and this usually has a big keel on it of which those muscles are attached. Well, the dodo didn't need them, so the keel has disappeared, and the muscles would have become very small. And as you can see from the wings just here, how small those wings are compared with the rest of the bird. Now, why did the dodo lose its ability to fly? Well, everything it needed on Mauritius was there on the ground. More importantly, there were no mammal predators. It then nested on the ground and everything about the bird's ecology evolved to being on the ground, not needing to escape predators. It could use all its energy for other things. Mauritius is actually a rocky place, it's mountainous, and these birds were probably found all over the island. They were up in the mountain tops, they were down in the coastal areas. And it wasn't some slow waddling thing, it was a very active bird taking advantage of its island home. The myth that the dodo was an inadequate species, doomed to extinction, fat, vulnerable, is totally wrong. This bird was perfectly fine-tuned and new ideas from its body stance, it was a much slimmer bird, give us an indication that evolution had taken place and adapted the dodo to take the advantage of its environment.